What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a look at the updates for Beta Phase 3 with the Crusade system in Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. So if you're curious about the more specific points of the Crusade system, I highly recommend you check out my Phase 2 video, that's where I covered most of that, I'll link that down in the description below. That's kind of a blow by blow of basically how the Crusade system works. Here I'm really just covering the changes for Beta Phase 3. Overall, they improved the UI greatly and they also got rid of a lot of the little bugs and stuff. So visually, there's no real placeholders anymore, like everything's there. And overall, it works better. There's still some like visual bugs here and there, but for the most part, it's all together. First thing, and probably the biggest change we need to talk about, is auto mode. So you can officially put the Crusade in auto mode, the way you could put Kingdom Management in Pathfinder Kingmaker in auto mode as well. Auto mode does a few things. One, it completely removes the strategy part of the Crusade. Once you reach a point in Dresden, you're able to start making decisions for the Crusade and everything that affect how your troops and everything grow. Auto mode turns that off. But unlike Kingmaker, this does not affect the plot in any way. All this affects is how your armies are treated and grown. This is not relevant to the story or timers or anything like that at all. It literally just turns the Crusade system off if you don't want to deal with it. Moreover, while the armies will still be on the overall map, your armies that get apparently auto-generated for you become unkillable. It basically makes them immune. So, and we'll get into how that works here in just a minute. Now, the other big change with this update was the morale system. So, technically this has been in-game up to this point. However, it was unclear what the final implementation was going to be. Because basically, if you lost a lot of battles or time went by, your morale would drop. However, they've added the UI and everything for this now, so it now actually makes sense. Up here in the top left, where you see these green icons, that means my morale is good because I've recently defeated a demon army in a battle. Now, as you can see from mousing over it, that'll give you so many days of good morale where your morale will increase. After that point, every day that goes by will start dropping your morale. Now, morale is important because in the battles between you and demons that you actually take place in, morale will affect your turns. Basically, if you have low morale, there's a chance your troops will panic and it'll just take turns from you. Now, this is an important change because if you're unaware, in beta up to this point, one of the most effective ways to deal with the Crusade was just endlessly skip days because there is no Doomsday Timer in this game. And every week or so, you get access to more troops, more finance points, etc. So you could just endlessly skip days, get all of your sort like resources together, and kind of blow through it that way. The morale system, while it technically doesn't prevent you from doing that, it does make it more difficult and annoying to do so, which is probably the right move just across the board. Now, in addition to that, we see some other UI changes for starters at the top here. We can switch between party and crusade views now. Uh, party is the blue one, crusade is the red one. Previously to this, it was kind of like an option on the side, but here you just click those at the top and then that's what you're moving and addressing. And while we're talking about armies, as you can see, the demon armies on the map here now have this big red icon, or well, just whatever color it is in relation to your army, this power icon next to their title or whatever. So this tells you the overall general power of that demon army, and then yours is next to your armies in that little blue shield as well. So this is just at a glance in comparison of army strength. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean all that much, because you can, of course, still kill things, even if they have a higher power army than you, if you know what you're doing and you like you have your crusade set up in a certain way or you have an advantage over the types of enemies in that army. But this is just an at-a-glance power equivalency. And if you mouse over that, you will still see, of course, the more specific uh, breakdown of what demons are in that army, etc. And the last thing I want to mention is that as far as new stuff goes, when you encounter a demon army now, the first thing that happens is an auto battle takes place without you like addressing it at all. The game will quickly do like a quick uh, chance-based auto battle, and it'll tell you whether you won or not, how many troops you lost, how many you recovered, if you were defeated. Now, this is a little jarring at first, but this is just a quick like simulation. You can either accept the results of this by you know clicking accept, or you can choose to go ahead and fight that battle personally yourself, which will then give you the option of hopefully doing better, which in this particular instance, I did. So it's not the be all end all, but it's just a quick simulation of what might happen, which can let you skip harder battles altogether. Now, this is the part where I assume auto mode is going to just 
make sure that you win every single time, no matter what. Basically, it just removes the chance of the enemy army winning the simulated battle ever. But with that, guys, there we go. There is the updates to the Crusade system in Beta Phase 3. Again, if you're more interested in the uh, nitty-gritty of how all this works, how troops and things like that are recruited or changed, upgraded, etc., check out the Phase 2 video. I went over all of that there. But if you liked the video, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. But regardless of any of that, truly, just thank you so much for watching. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.